All right, let's shift our focus to week two as the Texas Longhorns travel to Ann Arbor to take on the defending national champion, Michigan Wolverines. And it's amazing how much this game reminds me of the Texas-Alabama matchup that took place on week two last year. Texas is a lot more stable and has a lot more continuity, whereas Michigan is very much figuring it out right now. And that's okay. Michigan is going into this game looking a little unorganized at quarterback. They surprised everyone by deciding to name Davis Warren as their starter against Fresno State instead of Alex Orgy. But they're running one of those two quarterback systems right now. And I'm not a huge fan of that because, to me, that illustrates that Michigan just doesn't have a lot of clarity at who their clear bona fide starter is. You're not committing to a guy. And therefore, that quarterback position, which is the most important position on offense because it's, it's the nucleus, it's a little grainy, it's a little cloudy, it's a little gray. They're doing one of those things where Davis Warren is the traditional pocket passer, so he's going to be in for those packages, but they're going to work Alex Orgy into the packages where there's more running and more rolling out. And I'm just... I'm I'm not a big fan of that because it shows that there's there there's not a lot of confidence in who the starter is going to be. I see what Michigan is trying to do, but typically scenarios like that, they 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 just don't work out. Michigan is also going into this game. This is Sharon Moore's second game coaching as the official head coach of Michigan. Yes, he was the interim head coach of several games last year, but officially being named Michigan's head coach. This is Sharon Moore's second game. So Michigan's still trying to figure out that quarterback situation, and they, they have a young, very new head coach who's still learning the ropes. So Michigan's learning, uh, adapting, and adjusting on the fly, and that's okay. That's where they are. It's a huge transition. Losing as many players as they, as they did to the NFL draft and losing Jim Harbaugh to the Los Angeles Chargers – there's a reason why that team won the national championship last year, and they lost all that production. And, and, and so they very much have to regroup and kind of refine their identity this year. But that defense is still just as gritty as it was last year. That's part of Michigan's identity. They're a physical, lunch pail to work kind of team, so I'm never going to worry about Michigan's defense, and it's going to keep them very much in this game. Or as you look at Texas, this is Steve Sarkeesian's fourth year as Texas's head coach, and Quinn Ewers' third year as Texas' quarterback. I know he missed a lot of 2022 injured, but he was a starting quarterback in 2022. So this is his third year in Texas' system. Granted, there's a lot of transfers in Texas' receiving core, but there's there, there some very talented transfers. And so Michigan just looks a lot more buttoned up on offense. Defensively, I mean, Texas looked pretty good this past weekend. They had their issues in the secondary last year. They looked pretty good last weekend. Well, that will be tested this weekend against Michigan. But I, I, I like what I've seen so far. Michigan's physicality and the sheer loudness and raucousness of the big house, it's going to have a huge impact on this game. It's going to keep it very close early on. But at the end of the day, Texas is just a more explosive offensive team. And where you'll see that Michigan defense be able to make stops early on, I think it'll become harder and harder as that, that, that speed of Texas's offense just doesn't let up. It's ruthless. Just going out, every possession going up against that, I think it's just going to tire and gas Michigan out after a while. And... In similar fashion to what they did in Tuscaloosa last year, I think that Texas is just a little too much. They're they're more put together at this time of year than Michigan is right now. And I think that Texas pulls this off 34-17. They're seven-point favorites in this game. So I think, I think that they'll cover. I'm going 34-17. And this game will very much be a learning experience for Michigan and something that they'll use to build their foundation of success in the future. It'll be just a reality check of where they are now, and it will further cement Texas's trajectory as, I think, not only one of the best teams in the SEC, but in college football overall. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
I really appreciate you and the time that you took out of your day to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and share it as well as subscribe to the era. The more likes and subscribers I get on this channel, the more resources I can attain and the more resources I can attain, the more value I can provide to you, the viewer. And that is how I show my appreciation for you for the time that you devote to watching my videos. So thank you so much and have a great day.